Welcome to Indie Game Month Day 7. Today, we are going to create Piku Niku. Piku Niku is a very straightforward platforming game, but the world and the characters are super bright and colorful. The main character you play as is very simple, and I wanted to create a little bit something extra with it, so I'm going to create this base. I sort of made the base a little bit wavy, so it gives a more natural look instead of just being a circle. Now I'm going to be forming out some rocks with my hands, and I find this to be a really nice, easy way to create rocks. And you can make them in many different shapes and sizes this way. The only thing is there's a bit of fingerprints, but you can usually rub most of those off. After making some rock piles, we can move on to creating Piku Niku. Personally, I don't know enough about the game to know why they named it this, but I'm sure to the creators this has some sort of meaning. We need some little black circles for eyes, and now we can move on to creating the legs. This character actually does not have any arms, so we just need to create these little legs. After getting those into place, I wanted to add a little bit of bend into the legs. And the base looks pretty empty and boring, so let's add in some blades of grass. I've cut out a bunch of these little triangles, and we can start placing them around the rocks. It can be a little bit tricky to get these to stay, and when you put them on this way, after baking, they can be very fragile. If you bump them, some of them will break off, but for the most part, I don't really pick up my figure, so I think it will be fine. Now let's add a little bit more color into the base. I'm going to be creating some flowers, and this is my method for creating flowers. Let's get these all into place on the grass. And now we take a yellow ball of clay and smash it into the center of it. And we have some flowers. Now Piku Niku is ready to get baked. After baking, here it is, Piku Niku. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out the playlist at the end, which is updated every day with a new indie game character. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.